Today we are going to solve a question of limit. The question is limit x is tending towards 0 negative that is left hand side of 0 we need to calculate of the function as you can see here the big brackets are given as gif that is greatest integer function and one more information is given in the question that is y is equal to f of x graph is given. So We have to refer the graph in order to calculate the value of this limit. Now as you can see limit x is tending towards 0 negative we have two parts so let's tackle them one by one. So I am going to tackle the first term that is 3 times f of x cube minus sine of x cube whole thing divided by x is to power 4. Now I just want to determine the tendency of the function that means as x is tending towards 0 negative I just want to know where the input is tending towards. So let's take the input separately that is x cube minus sine of x whole cube divided by x is to power 4. So I just want to know the tendency of this function where it's going to tending towards. So I can factorize here a cube minus b cube and I can easily write this as x minus sine of x whole thing divided multiplied by x square plus x sine of x plus sine square of x. Now whole thing divided by x is to power 4 we have. Now in order to calculate this x minus sine of x we need x cube and in order to calculate this we need x raised to power 2. And I'm going to multiply by x because in total we have power 5 in denominator and what we want power 4 again. Now I'm going to apply limit here. Limit x is tending towards 0 negative. I just want to check the tendency. So here if you open this, we'll get this as limit x is tending towards 0 negative. I'm going to apply expansion here. So we'll get this as x minus x minus x cube by 3 factorial. Though we don't need more than power 3 because I'm going to divide by power 3. I'm, but I'm writing x is to power 5 by 5 factorial and so on. And here I'm going to divide by x square. So we'll get this as 1 plus sine of x by x plus sine square x by x square whole multiplied by x. Now this limit will be limit x is tending towards I think I missed x cube here so whole thing divided by x cube now if you calculate the limit here the limit will be as you can see x and minus x will cancel out minus or minus plus x cube and x cube will cancel out as you can see other term will tend towards 0 because x is to power 5 will tend towards 0 if you even if you cancel with x cube and rest of the terms will be 0 here so I think answer will be 1 by 3 factorial that is 1 by 6 from here now x we have now from this term we'll get 3 here clearly visible so I think answer is x by 2 here now we can focus on the input part here as x is tending towards as you can see as x is tending towards 0 negative this value is also tending towards 0 negative so let's analyze the function here so this value as x is tending towards 0 negative this value is also tending towards 0 negative now we'll get here 3 times f of 0 negative now if you notice one more thing from the graph as x is v approaches 0 from 0 negative the input is approaching from 0 negative f of x is going to attain a value that is 3 positive slightly greater than 3 but equal to 3 almost so this part will be 3 multiplied by 3 positive and we can write this approaching towards 9 positive so if we calculate the gif of 9 positive I think we'll end up getting the value that is equal to 9 so if you calculate the gif of this value I think gif of this value gif of this value will be equal to 9 here so first part is sorted we got the first part as 9 let's calculate the second part now let's focus on the second part second part is f of gif of sine of x cube upon x is given now the moment I take the limit x is tending towards 0 negative I just want to know where our input is tending towards the limit will get sine of x cube upon x now you know if you multiply by x square and divide by x square it will become x cube and this limit limit x is tending towards 0 negative will be equal to 1 so here we got the limit as x square now as you can see x is tending towards 0 positive x square will approach towards 0 positive now here you will get 0 positive here in the function we will get minus times f of here you will get gif of 0 positive so I can write this as minus times f of the moment you take gif of 0 positive it will become exact 0 so here we need to subtract from 9 function value 0 as you can see from the graph the function value is equal to exactly 4 it's given here so this answer will be equal to 9 minus f of 0 is 4 so our final answer will be 5 so 5 is the value of the limit that will be our final answer and that will be all.